the vet clinic at Dogtown sees over a thousand medical cases each year. The center treats emergencies, but sometimes the most ordinary problems can be the most life-threatening. Come on, Tuli, keep going. This morning, Tuli, a Chihuahua pug mix, is seeing head veterinarian Dr. Mike Dix about a huge problem. She's obese. Tuli looks like a fruit bat that swallowed a pineapple. She got a little head, big body. She was fat. She does have kind of a weird shape. She's not like a purebred skinny chihuahua. She's got kind of a stocky build, but added to that stocky build is a little extra fat tissue. Tuli was sent from a vet's office in Arkansas. Because she's morbidly obese, they feared she might be euthanized if she went to any other shelter. At Dogtown, she gets another chance. Hi. This 11-pound chihuahua mix is so fat, now health complications could kill the dog. Oh, my back. Dr. Mike discovers Tuli's heart is already working overtime. Let's listen to your ticker. The first thing I know is that's affecting her breathing. She kind of sounds like she just ran a marathon, gasping for air. She's kind of snorting a lot. She's got more pressure put on her windpipe from fat. She's got more pressure on her heart to pump blood throughout her body. If she gets to the point where she can't walk, she's not going to be a happy little dog. Hey, boy. Dr. Mike owns six dogs himself, and he understands how some might find chubby pets cute. But as a vet, Dr. Mike's priority is always the well-being of his patients. I definitely become attached to a lot of the patients. They touch my heart in certain ways. He's a good girl, I know. I see some of them quite frequently, so I, I kind of learn their personality. And it makes me feel happy when they get to leave the clinic and they go back to the run or when they get adopted. Yeah. In his career, about half the dogs Dr. Mike's seen are obese. Obesity is the biggest health problem in dogs in America. It takes away one of the essences of being a dog. You know, dogs like to run, they like to play, and when they're overweight, it's a lot harder for them. In the U.S., about 40% of dogs are overweight. Obesity in dogs is thought to complicate diabetes, heart disease, and other medical conditions. If Thule wants to live longer, she needs to lose weight. Overweight dogs tend to live a shorter life. It puts a lot of pressure on things that shouldn't have that pressure put on them. All right, Julie, let's get a weight on you. Julie. Oop. 11, 11 pounds, pounds, one, one ounce. ounce. Dr. Mike gauges the right weight for Thule's build. It's got like kind of a bulkier. It's like a chihuahua head and a pug body it or something. It is. Let's go for eight. Let's go for eight pounds. Her goal's eight pounds. Thule will have to lose over a quarter of her body weight, the equivalent of a 180-pound man losing 50 pounds. It's a significant amount for her. Percentage-wise, it's quite a bit. And also, sometimes it's actually harder to get weight loss on these dogs at this point because their metabolism is so slowed down that even if you don't feed them that much, because they don't exercise, their body still takes most of that food as fat. Good girl, Thule. Say thank you. All I see is this dog going into respiratory distress down the road or not being able to walk because it's too fat. For Thule, losing weight could be a matter of life and death. 